so today's episode is a very special one because we are going to deal with error which has i mean suffered a lot of uh, developers and coders out there so uh, it is as you can see unable to detect adb version adb output error and uh, just a brief about adb it's called android debug bridge more about it, it you can uh, search it on google so what's the error the error is you will not get the virtualization that you get while debugging it that is when you go and click here on this play button and uh, you get that simulator uh, simulates uh, your app that you have created on the android studio and get a real time view of it how it would look on the client device or your own device uh, if you go to test it out so let's check how, what ways are there to, to rectify all these errors and uh, correct it Sorry. okay so Step number one is to check what version of Windows you are using. For my case, it was Windows 7. Uh, for your case, it may be 8, 9, 10, whatever it's so. But make sure it has the current version of the supported Windows. For my case, I had not updated to service pack one. So after I have updated, the step one is complete. So step one. Yeah, that's the step one update to the latest version of the OS and, and the step two is open the program and features yeah and the second step is open the program and the features yeah this one this window I think this is not written uh, need to be written because uh, that's all you can see and for me there's a lot of years of uh, redistributable Microsoft Visual C++ files but you will just update uh, i mean the ins uh, reinstall if not install and if not installed then you will install it again and uh, otherwise you will reinstall the latest version of the c++ if it's for 64 then you have to both uh, install for 32 and 64 bits that's uh, both 86 and 64 architecture and uh, if only for 32 bit then only the 86 architecture will work so uh, that's the second step and then yeah that's the step two Two, as I had said and the step 3 step 3 is to restart the computer 3 restart the WS windows or anyways and after that's done I mean the restart is done replace the SDK folder in the user section of the uh, program file C that is uh, just let me write the path step 4 is I am just writing for uh, my one that is the windows 7 uh, service pack 1 format uh, your may be a different but designated username or the account in which you are currently working on then you will find the android file or anyway you can search or uh, search for sdk search in the uh, search for sdk and you will get the file delete it and install it from okay it does uh, give us step 5 step 5 delete sdk and step 6 install sdk install the sdk from the android studio website the latest version of what i mean is that and then again restart it step 7 step 7 again restart restart it and after these seven steps your android studio should work perfectly and as it is in my case uh, you can see here the emulator one my one is this one i i have already closed it so it was disconnected and it's dead because the process already ended process finish the exit code zero that's the exit code for ending and as you can see and uh, yeah they, uh, there are some more errors uh, in android studio as a beginner or, as an or you will get 
decided when you open because Android Studio is such a platform that it's uh, not that you will uh, switch it on and it will uh, work smoothly it's uh, a perfect developer interface so uh, you need the knowledge uh, to run it out so I'll be here to help you out with all the uh, details of how can all these errors be solved so if you like this video hit the like button if you are new to my channel hit the subscribe button as I always bring such videos to you